And do you ha know how to change suwaru to sit into volitional form? Suwaru, 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 suwayo, suwaro. Hi, suwaro. Perfect. Okay, so volitional can be used to express um in this conjugation to mean to start, but not to really normally to finish the action. Um, so it's o plus tosuru to express this meaning. For example, can you read the first sentence for me? Nige yo to shitara shuku ni tsukamata. Hi. So it basically means when I attempted to run, I was caught right away. How about the next sentence? Can you read that for me? Ehe wa dorobo no ude o tsukamo to shitaga. Hi. Perfect. What do you think this means? The arm of the thief, um, despite being caught by the soldier, dot, dot, dot. Kind of. It basically it means the soldier um, attempted to catch, grab onto the arm of the thief. So the... It, so whether or not this action succeeded, we don't actually know. However, there is like a 90% chance it did not occur. It, it basically means to it means to attempt, but it normally means the verb did not actually happen. Um how do you think you could say I start to sit, but my arm is catched by the magician? So right here, this but and the start is being used to how I'm translating otosuru in this context. Otosuru. Hi. The verb is suwaru. So the subject here is ore wa. Right. Um, so I need it to be in the volitional form. So suwaro, suwaro shitara. As I was trying to sit. Right? Hi. Or shita, shita nagara or shitara? Uh, shitara is correct. It's tara with um, shi. Uh, what you forgot is the particle, which is to. to. So, ore wa suwaro to shitara. Hai, it's quote. It's okay. Uh, followed by. My arm was grabbed by the magician. Uh, watashi no. Watashi no. No, but we already know it's watashi. Hai. Um, oh. Perfect. Oh no, my arm was cut by the magician when I attempted to sit down. Perfect. Okay, do you know what the passive form of this verb is? Also, do you know, before you do that, do you know how to read this word? Um, it's not yame, it's tomeru. Hi. So how do you put tomeru into passive form? Tomero. Oh, passive form, I'm sorry. Tomerareru. Hi, tomerareru. Perfect. Okay, let's go read the line from the book then. Suwaro toshitara neburi ni ure o sukamare. Right. While I was trying to sit down, Neburi grabbed onto my arm and I was stopped. Perfect. Nice. Okay, let's go read our next line. Hi. Urata noka. Did you wash? Uh, right. So the word you probably haven't seen yet is mochiron, which is of course. So the question is, did you wash? Yep. Then reply. Of course. Wash, I did not. 
or I did not wash. However, my neck, yoko ni futa, is on, my neck is going horizontal. Oh, he's shaking his head. Exactly. He's shaking his head. <laughs> Perfect. So I accidentally didn't, I had um no day on a little bit of a later slide for explaining this grammar. So for that, I apologize, had it in the wrong place. No I... day is basically like, because it's not as aggressive as kata. So kata is a very aggressive because, but this is kind of like, I guess, since, since I, of course, since I haven't actually washed, I shook my head. No, that's kind of what it's saying. It's basically saying this, these, the, these these right here kind of are in agreement is what it is like agreement matching what yeah sorry that? about that I... okay we're doing a kanji check do you remember this guy kata perfect kata and our next word is kaidan do you happen to know what kaidan means kaidan means their steps perfect nice do you know how to read this word mm point mm -hmm. does mean to point to, to point i guess it's sas sasu that's a good guess what is this kanji on its own do you recognize it it's yubi hi so this is actually pronounced as yubi sasu you're correct that sasu is also to point so sasu on its own will also have that same yubi kanji so that's one of those very like weird things that Sasu and Yubi Sasu both have the same finger kanji in there. Hi. Okay, so let's go read this line. Nigure no kimi wa nanika o Yubi Sasta. The Twilight Lord points at something. Perfect. So this word right here meant stare and ended with dan. Do you know what it started with? Yudan. Good guess. It's actually kai. Kai dan. Yudan is like your guard. Like, haha, you let your guard down. It's when you'll hear yudan. <laughs> it's my martial art vocabulary sneaking in. <laughs> so, so. Yeah, so this is <laughs> kai. Kai. Can you read this sentence for me? This dan goes to the bottom part. It just been moved. Hi. Dan, Dan, oh. ah, Kaidan, you, you shimbo wa Kaidan o orita. Hi. So this is actually pronounced as yo jin bo, but you're super close. Yo jin bo. Hi. Yo jin bo wa Kaidan o orita. Perfect. What does that mean? The bodyguard descended the staircase. Hi. Exactly. Perfect. So this word started with kai. What did it end with? Dan. Kai, kai dan. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Suruto neburi ga kai dan wo yubi sashita. Hai. Suruto, right after that. Hai. Nobi uh, neburi. He points, he pointed at the stairs. Perfect. Okay, so what did Nebody say then? He didn't say, Arete koi. Shoku, shoku, jo, shoku, shoku koto? It's shoku. actually shokuji. Shokuji. Good guess with goto, though. That is how that can be pronounced sometimes. Like shigoto, for example. Hai. Shokuji wa sono atto da. Hai. Atto da. Hai, atto. Atto has this kanji sometimes. Oh, not that kanji. A after. Uh, yep, after. He point in the stare and he say, Wash and then come. Yes. Only then. Yep. Will you eat? Exactly. Yep. So go and come back after you. So go and wash and come back. Food will be after that. 
食事はその後だ。Do you know what the negative form of ある to existence? はい。ありません。So, so, what's it in short form? Short form is いない。No, Inai it's... is actually the negative form of iru, which also means exist. Wait, wait, wait.、Uh, the nai form of aru is.、Uh... It's, it's not. It's not a. It's not starting with a, is it? It it is actually nai just on its, its own. So it's、oh. a little bit irregular. So aru turns into nai. Hi. That's why I asked. So I know it's a hard one when you start learning. It's so weird. Nai behave just like an adjective. So it's conjugated just like how an adjective would. Yep, that it does. All But, negative forms of verbs are basically adjectives in Japanese rather than verbs. All negative forms of verbs are adjective. Okay. All right. Gr- like、That's- it has a grammatical use of adjectives. For example, with naru, which you know what naru means? Naru to become. Yeah. So, for whatever reason, you never see naru with like a verb over here. However, you will see naru with the negative form of verbs, which is kind of like interesting. So, for whatever reason, you can do that with negative verbs, but not with positive ver- verbs. And that's actually what we're going to be seeing in this sentence.、Huh. Oh, do you happen to recognize that kanji up there? I forgot to make a little slide for that、um, guy. I remember this. It's something early. Hayaku. Yep, hayaku. Hayaku、um, can kind of mean early. In this case, it's like to be speedy. To be speedy. Yeah. Hi. So here we have the negative form of suru. Yep. Hayaku しないと Hurry up.、Um, if not hurry. Perfect. Then. Be- Gonga naku nachimau. The bacon will become no more. Exactly. The bacon will no longer exist. It will come to be. There's no more bacon. And how, do, how does he feel about this? Shimao, he p r e t e n d like he's sad about it, I'm sure. Sad.、Yep. <laughs> so if I don't hurry up, I'm going to, they're going to run out of bacon. And how is it going to run out of bacon in his stomach? Nobody's going, to, <laughs> nobody's going to eat it. Okay. So, our next word is kake ag- ag- agaru. Kake agaru. This is to rush up. Kake is some kind of rushing motion, and agaru is upwards. Kake agaru is an u verb. So, R plus u. Kake, kake agaru. agaru. Uh, I'm going to force you to remember the kake part of kake agaru. Kake、ka. has, like, I think,、um, horse right there. Hai.、Uh, so, you know, horses, they are very rushing all over the place and out of their kennels.、Um, yes. What is the te form of agaru, which is up? I'm guessing this is agatte. Perfect. Glado stop. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Saka o kake ageta. Hi, I got hurry、that. up the hill. Yep, to hurry up the hill, the rush up the hill. Perfect. Do I have another kanji? Do you happen to know this one? Yes, to remove your clothing. So, so. Perfect. Nugut. Can you read the sentence for me? Ja su. Hi, ja su. Satsu, satsu o nugui, nugui de, nui, nui de, nui de, ah, kaidan o kake agata. Satsu. I removed the shirt. Hi. Hi. I removed the shirt and I rush up the stair. Perfect. Nice. And do you know what meo kosuri meant? Meo kosuri. Kosuri, to scratch your eye, to rub、kind、your eye. Kind of, yes, to rub your eye. Perfect. Hi.、Um, can you read the sentence for me?、Uh, Nigure no kami wa mizu o 
Right. So this kakeru is a word we keep on seeing every once in a while that I just don't want to define because it's hard to define without context. We've seen it with to kakeru, um, the food with pepper, for example. So right. in this case, it's still kind of having that lathering on kind of meaning to pour on to, perhaps. So right. what does higure no kimi wa mizu o karada ni kakeru mean? It means that the Lord of Twilight takes the water and he pours it onto his body. Perfect. Nice. And can you read this for me? Tao o kosutte aratta. Hai. I don't know what kosutte means. So but we just saw kosuru, kosuru with me. Me o kosuru. Oh, to rub. Yep. Okay. So. I rub my face Hi. and wash. Exactly. I rub and washes my face. Perfect. And here's another new kanji. Do you happen to know this guy? Uh, this is to rain. Mm, good guess. Uh, ame looks like that. And ame is in there. Not a lot of relationship with ame, except for ame is cold. Uh, there's a lot more relationship with the other kanji here, which shows up in furu, which is not furu like the fall, but furu like to... Um, Shake. To shake. Like at the like earlier we saw kubi ni um furu. Have we seen this kanji before in the previous um I feel like we did, but it looked like we didn't. This is furu eru. Furu eru. Hi. Any guess what furu eru might mean? To sprinkle down. Good to guess. This right here is to shiver. To shiver. Yep. So this right here, this this bottom part of the kanji is to shake, and the top part is rain. So the shake in the rain because you're cold, you're shivering. Furu eru. Shiver. Furu eru. So I'm pretty sure this did pop up at some time earlier, but I didn't. We did either we didn't um make you learn the kanji at that time. I see. Because it's been pretty cold as of late. Um, Hi. So here is furu eru. Furu eru. To shiver. What is the ta form of furu eru? Well, this is eru eru. So I'm guessing fueta. No Good glottal guess. stop. Uh, yes, no glottal stop. Perfect. Fu furueta. Nice. Furueta. Okay. So how would you say while shaking my hands, I return to my room in Japanese? Uh, te o furuet nagara. Kaidan ni modota. Good guess. This word right here, let's look at it closer. Is that kaidan? Uh, heya. Heya. Yep, heya. Nice. So shivering isn't actually something that you think about doing. It's kind of like an automatic body reaction when you're cold or you're frightened or something like that. So rather than o, oh, it actually takes ga. Hi. Te ga fure nagara heya ni modotta. So while I my forgot. yes, I forgot that the Japanese language is perfectly logical. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the time. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I'm sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so while my hand is shivering, I return to my room. Okay. Hey, got. Hi. Okay, so let's go read this long sentence. Hi. Kaidan o kake aget. あがって。あ、部屋に戻り。シャッシュを抜いて体に水をかけ。手をあ、顔をこすって洗い。ブルブル。あ、um, Furu e nagara uh, shika ni modota. Hey. Okay, so let's start with our first section. Kaida no kake agatte heya ni modori. Hi. Uh, her, I hurry, I rush, I rush up the, I know, it just say I rush towards yep. the staircase. Uh, and then I return to the room. Hi. 
So the reason I, this is this is I rushed up the staircase. I think we still would say that that way in English because rushing to the staircase doesn't really insinuate we went up it. It kind of said we I, just we went right in front of it. But this is actually means he goes up the staircase. I, I, I got there to go up. Hi hi. So I rushed up the stair. I return to the room. I take off my shirt. I put water on my body. Hi. I use my hand. And I rub and washes my face. So it says I, 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 I rub and wash my face and hands. So it's not uh, really using my hands, but I wash my hands and my face. I washes, I rub and washes my hand and my face. Buru buru, the furu enagara, the I, I shake, I shiver. While I was shivering, buru buru, I modota i'm returned back down perfect yep so buru buru is just a sound effect of shaking so it doesn't actually add anything here just going Burr! one of those few <laughs> on a is that we have in english so i'm all saying Burr! as i shake i go descend <laughs> okay you have to know what nobasu means i think we have seen this before hey nobasu is to press on something uh that'd be also Osu, which has a very similar kanji. Osu is a press. No, basu is to stretch. So earlier, the character stretched, I believe, his back. So he was sitting up straight. Um, and maybe another character stretched out their hands. This is just to stretch. So it's like to um, to push your hand out, kind of, to fully extend, basically, to extend. Hi. Stretch. No, basu. Hi. Can you read this for me? Ehe wa unazuita. Unazuita. This one's a hard one. I must have forgotten it. Unazuita is to nod. To nod. Yep. To nod this and book. to mutter are two of the hardest words to remember when reading this book. Unazuita. The soldier nod. Nodded. Perfect. Um, what is the ta form of nobasu, which is to extend, stretch out? Huh. Well, utsuru is simply take the glottal ta. So, ubatta. Good guess. So, with su, we actually, a little bit of an irregular, we keep, we do shite. Nobaste. Nobasta. Hi. So, no basta. Perfect. Okay. So, what particle thing should go here for? I extend my hand out. I stretch out my hand. Teo no Hi. basta. Perfect. There's intent there. Um. So, this is when I wanted to teach you no de by first showing no ni, which is the opposite, basically, of showing that these two ideas are not related. But you kind of already know what that is, so I'm not going to do the comparison. Can you read this sentence up here for me? Hi. Um, he got great no de. Um, rochi wa makura datta. Hi. So right here, this is pronounced as gure in higure no kimi. However, this is actually pronounced as ku when it's not with the kanji directly. So it's he got kureta. Rather than ah. higure. So very similar. And this guy right here is yami. Makura yami. Hai. So what does the first part mean? Higa kurita. Hai. It's say since or because. Hai. As. Yep. The, the sun set. Hai. The road become or not becoming but the role is truly dark hi yep nice so roji is a kind of road what kind of road is it the side road close that'd be wakimichi wakimichi um, um includes rojis but it's also a little bit of a bigger category the alleyways yes the, exactly the branches that come out of the main perfect street. yep alleyway 
Nice. So, yep. So, since, so because the light has, I mean, because the day has set, the sun has set, the alleyways are completely dark. We're completely dark. So, right there, and basically, we see that these are um, in agreement. How about the next sentence? Can you read this for me? Yeah. Yeah. Yaku? Yep. Yaku. Yaku ni tashiro. Uh, it's supposed to be chi. <laughs> tachiro. Tachiso. Tachisona. Okay. Yaku ni tachisona kozo nano de yatota. Yatota. What do you think that means? Mm. It means yaku ni yaku. We mentioned a yaku was to. Yaku ni tatsu is a set phrase together, so you can't really do it by itself. Yakuni tatsu. Yakuni tatsu means to be useful. To be yeah. useful. To be useful. Yakuni tachi so na. To seems as the boy that it seems as useful. Nano there. And therefore, and, and since, since he seems to be useful, yatota, he did it. Close. That's yatta. Yatota is to hire. To hire. Yeah. Uh, since he seemed to be a useful boy, uh, he was hired. Exactly. Perfect. Nice. So yeah, that's kind of how no day works. So let's go read the next sentence. Neburi ga unazuita no de isu ni suwatte muffin ni Okay. So first off, neburi ga unazuita. Hi. Neburi nodded. Perfect. So and since so, neburi nodded, I do the next action. So neburi's not doing the next action. I am. Icon, the thief. Icon. Um, itsu ni suwatte, I sit down at the chair. And I stretch out my hand towards the muffin. Perfect. Okay. Do you know what do you know what yo means? Like dorobo no fukuro no naka no yo na makura na yoru. Yo na is to have the form of to look like. Yes. To be like, to look like. To nice. be like. Yep. It's a way to express similes. So yo you can also do this with something like this. Can you read the sentence for me? Dorobo wa te o nobashita iru yo datta. Hi. This right here means it looked like the thief was stretching out his hand. So the was is the datta back here. But yeah, it, it looked like that's what the yo is doing. So that's another way you could use it rather than having it as a not adjective specifically describing an action. Okay, so let's go read our line from the book. Orega asameshi o taberu no da no o neburi wa nite iru yo datta. Right. I uh i eat the the breakfast so and no oh, that so, wa. let's go look at the particles we have nebody wa and orega which one of these do you think is the subject of the sentence the subject here is nebody so 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 the main thing is that nebody is going to be doing the verb what is nebody doing Neburi is mite iru yo datta. It looks as though Neburi is watching or looking at me eating my breakfast. Exactly. Perfect. Nice. Now we're doing our kanji check. What's this word? Kaidan. Perfect. And this guy? Kake. Nice. And can you do this one? Yubi. Perfect. And this guy? Hey, yeah. Nice. This guy? Furu. Yep. Furu. 
bum 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 Okay, so now is our halfway point. So I'll be seeing you in two seconds. Hi. Hey.